Mike Huber, Moneyball Hitter Magazine, lead columnist, team hitting instructor. We're going to talk about the Royals today. And we've talked about them a lot in the World Series, a lot of articles and videos, and we've talked about their hitters, so we may refer back to that. So this is going to be a quick one, but I want to let you know that the Royals got into the playoffs because they were the fourth best hitting team in the playoffs. This is one reason why uh, you know, we're encouraging you to somehow get your team to that elite hitting level where you're tops in your division in, in hitting. Okay, because the pitching's going going to come eventually, and you always got to be set up offensively. Because if you're not, and you got good pitching, you're just you're just not going to make it. If you do, you're just not going to bust through the playoffs or have a chance to. The Royals were fourth this year. They've been a sneaky team. Last year they were ninth. Prior to that, they were in the cellar hitting wise. And it's been how many years, almost, what, 15, 20 years since they really made the playoffs? Okay, so they have some talent on the roster and everything. Now, as far, far as the money ball formula is concerned, you need four-star hitters, okay, and then some roll-in chip-in players. Royals went around it in a different way, almost like the Minnesota Twins did. Very unusual, I don't see this, but they didn't have any star players, really. And they had eight chip-in players. So if you can have eight or nine chip-in players, uh, yeah, you have a chance. Okay. Um, but those chip-in a chip-in player is like a 260, 270 hitter who uh, hits mid-range homers and stuff. So those guys can go up and they can go down. So if they get them, if you get them on the upswing, then you got something there, like the end of the season with the Royals in the playoffs. You get them on the downswing, then you're just an average team. So really, Royals were really an average team compared to the rest of the teams in the, May, in, in, in the MLB. They just ranked fourth because everybody's just kind of bunched up together in, in two, from 253 to uh, 265. Okay? But these guys were, uh, they were 269, right? Yeah, 269 hitting team. 263, I'm sorry, 263. So... They were kind of bunched up. 376 slugging, not really good enough. Okay, not really good enough. Uh, but they did get hot. They were like the second leading team in the World Series as far as hitting was concerned. They really got hot. The Stockus really got hot. Okay, and, so, and some of the other players did too. Um, so we need to look at these players here and... Uh, we got Kane, who I think is the leadoff hitter type hitter. He hits 301, five home runs. Chip in guy, Aoki, chip in guy, 285, one home run. Escobar, 285, three home runs. Chip in. Whenever you're above two, you know, 270, you're a chip in guy, whether you hit any home runs or not. Okay. Butler, 271, nine home runs. He's much better than that, but he really was dangerous in the playoffs. Hosmer. 279 home runs. The guy should be hitting like 20 home runs. Gordon, 266, 19 home runs. Almost a star player. Perez, 260, 17 home runs. Almost a star player. Mustakis, 212, 15 home runs. 212, come on. Mustakis during the season. And then you got hot for a part of the time and carried the team in the playoffs. Okay. So you can see that this team has the potential to really go up, kind of like the Minnesota Twins, if they get the right type of instruction, okay? Or they have a potential to just kind of hover where they're at right now. If they lose a pitcher, they're going to be pretty much done. And they got the potential to go down because there's a lot of work these hitters got to do. they got, they got some holes in their swings. They don't hold their swing very well on off-speed pitches a lot. Okay, they don't hit curveballs and stuff really well, which the good hitting teams can. And there is a secret to that in training, by the way. Okay, there is a secret to that. So if you think it well, it just depends on the hitter, no, that can be taught. And you heard it first here. Okay, so the only weak hitter was this Infante guy, 253, six home runs. So. You know, that was the only weak hitter they have. Most teams got three, maybe four weak hitters, like 253 and stuff like that, like the Chicago White Sox. All right. 
So the team has a lot of potential. Uh, they need more power. So as big as these guys are, well, some of these guys on the team, and they're only hitting, you know, 15 home runs or 11 home runs, Hosmer, Mastakis, um, you know, Butler, you guys can hit some more home runs. So am I going to say go hit the weights? No, weights don't work. It's all technique, okay? Now, if you included weights with proper technique, Moneyball formula training technique with weights, then you got something there. Okay, then you got something there. You have to work the, I'm going to give you a little hint, the psoas major muscle on the back side of your hip. You got to pound the heck out of that thing with weights or resistant, resistance bands or medicine balls. And there's a specific way that you're going to do it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to uh, include an article on how to exactly do that. Okay. So, and, you know, Dale Swem, who is the hitting coach, uh, former manager for the Cubs, was a hitting coach for the Milwaukee Brewers. Uh, you know, with the Cubs, Swem, uh, the Cubs hitters never got any better. They were probably one of the worst hitting teams in major leagues for as long he as was, he was there, two or three years or whatever it was. So that's telling me that he doesn't know anything mechanically to get anybody better. He is helping out uh, mentally, psychologically, strategically. Okay, okay. the players kind of like him in his corner type of thing. But there's some mechanical issues that you have to work out. Mastakis, you're a back foot spinner. Okay. A uh, guy like uh, Heisman, you swing off your toes too much. All right. These are things that can uh, be fixed uh, if you know what you're doing me mechanically. And the mechanical stuff is just as important as the mental and the psychological stuff. It helps with the mental and psychological stuff. So you don't, if you don't fix the physical, the mental and physical or psychological are, can't get much higher. So they both go hand in hand, if you understand what I'm saying. Okay? So the key is getting into the playoffs, folks. And you got you, you got to build your offense to get into the playoffs. Once you get into the playoffs, anything can happen. Detroit, the best hitting team, got in the playoffs, but you know the Orioles out hit them and got through the playoffs. Okay. Um, and the Royals, look what they did. Okay. The key is getting in. The only way you can get in is consistent offensive attack. Money ball hitting formulas. The Royals went about it in a different way that I do not recommend because when hitting gets back up and kicks back up to its normal 267, uh, that's not going to be good enough to get in, and they just barely squeaked in. Okay? So uh, we'll send you that. Uh, we'll include the article with, uh, with the weights, and that's our wrap-up for the Royals. See you next time.